long ago, 17 billion light years away, a cataclysmic showdown plays out. Two black holes locked together in a deadly cosmic dance. Black holes are unimaginably dense objects with gravity so intense that if you get too close to them, you're gone. Their immense gravitational pull causes them to spiral towards each other. When black holes collide, they don't just run into each other. They're in orbit about each other. So what we're talking about is an end spiraling orbit that goes faster and faster and faster and faster until they finally collide in a fatal embrace. But astronomers don't see a thing. The problem with observing colliding black holes is all about the name, black holes that give off no light. How can astronomers see something that no telescope can detect? Across the universe, extraordinary events take place. But we sometimes miss them because we rely on light. Now, astronomers have a new toolkit that's revealing the cosmos in a totally different way. Using the very fabric of our universe we call space-time. Everything with mass, like stars, planets, and black holes, all curve this fabric. The more massive the object, the bigger the distortion of space-time. The classical analogy is this stretched rubber sheet, right? And like a mass, like this sun is like a ball on the sheet and it distorts and warps the sheet into this valley, right? And if you roll a marble across it, like the marble is a planet, the marble will be pulled into orbit around the ball because of the curvature of the sheet. But that's only half the picture. If an object has mass, and is accelerating through space-time. It creates ripples in that fabric of space-time, and we call these gravitational waves. Gravitational waves give us vital clues about distant objects that we can't see. The more massive the object that produces them, and the faster it's moving, the bigger the ripples. These ripples pass through planets, stars, and galaxies with ease. When a gravitational wave passes through an object like a star or a planet or a person, it stretches and compresses them, like with this tennis ball. Now, if you're close to a powerful source of gravitational waves, like merging supermassive black holes, those waves are incredibly strong and they're capable of actually destroying a planet. But, like the ripples on a pond, their strength and size diminishes over distance. The farther away you are, the weaker they get. And when they're hundreds of millions of light years away, they're actually smaller than the size of an atom. So, to listen for gravitational waves, scientists built the most sensitive measuring device on the planet. This is LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. Two enormous detectors located almost 2,000 miles apart in Louisiana and Washington State. Each sensor has L-shaped arms measuring two and a half miles. Inside the LIGO detectors, inside these concrete tunnels, there is a laser system. It's called an interferometer. So light comes in from a laser beam and is split into two paths. Normally, the lengths of the two beams are the same. That changes when gravitational waves hit the beams. When a gravitational wave passes through, it changes the distance that light travels along these arms. So one arm effectively gets longer and the other one gets shorter. The length of those two beams varies just ever so slightly, and the very sensitive apparatus in LIGO is able to pick that up. With this ultra-sensitive laser system, 
LIGO picks up distortions in space-time, narrower than one millionth of the diameter of an atom. Just that feat, just the fact that we were able to build a detector to detect gravitational waves is just mind-boggling. All of a sudden now, we were listening to the faintest whispers of the universe. In 2015, LIGO picked up a whisper that had been traveling towards Earth for over a billion years. Its source, two colliding stellar black holes. Watching two black holes spiral in and merge, that's not something we can do using optical telescopes or X-ray telescopes or anything like that. But with LIGO, we could actually detect that event. Now, scientists can paint accurate pictures of invisible objects. You can tell, you're looking at black holes, you can get their masses, you can get their distance. There's a phenomenal amount of information in that wave. The colliding black holes are the most massive LIGO has ever detected. One is 66 times the mass of our sun. The other, 85 times the mass of our sun. As two black holes are spiraling in, they are moving faster and faster as they get closer and closer. That means that the gravitational waves they're emitting have a higher and higher frequency. So as time goes on, the pitch gets higher. So it goes oop, oop, oop. When they finally merge, they create a giant. By analyzing that data, it's possible to establish that the new black hole from the merger of these two original black holes weighs as much as something like 140 times the mass of our sun. It's really difficult to overstate the importance of gravitational wave detection. It's like adding on an entirely new sense. All of a sudden, there's a brand new way to explore the rest of the universe. Invisible cosmic collisions are just the beginning of what gravitational wave astronomy can reveal to us. Now, scientists are using gravitational waves to revisit other long-standing mysteries, like what causes the brightest explosions in the cosmos? This is not an everyday car crash. This is the most dramatic event that you're ever gonna see in our universe.